Jonah. Yeah, look, I, mean, I agree with Steve. Steve and I have had these conversations a lot. Um, I should say that uh, the the Tucker Carlson stuff was the final straw for for me. It wasn't the it, you know it wasn't. But for that, you know, I would have. I, I, things have been going south for me and my 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 views on Fox News for quite a while. That that said, I don't think it was. It's it's Fox News. People paint sometimes with too broad a brush, because. Um, while I think Sean Hannity, Tucker Carlson, Laura Ingram, and the other Fox primetime types and the opinion side people um, have a lot to answer for in the climate that they helped foster, with their, which they're still fostering, um, that I think is irresponsible and untrue. Um, it's worth pointing out that that on the news side, you know, uh, our former colleague and friend, you know, Brett Baer, uh, was reporting the truth and reporting the facts and saying that the election, you know, and reporting that the election was not stolen, that there was no basis to these claims about massive fraud. Um, the problem is, is that the the loudest voices, the highest rated voices, the most influential voices on Fox are all on the opinion side. And um, it used to be understood that an opinion was supposed to be primarily informed by fact. And instead, Opinion at a lot of places, but I think it's particularly bad at you know in, in Fox World these days. Um, the the business model at a lot of places now is to tell people what they want to hear rather than what they need to hear. And if you have an opinion that differs from the president of the United States' fraudulent narr narrative, um, you, people don't want to hear it. It's not going to get aired. Certainly not in prime time. Um, and so you, you get this echo chamber effect. And I think that is deeply pernicious it's not the it but when we talk about fox news we need to be clear that part of it is is actually just a sort of a failure of policy rather than the actual policy where they let the opinion people ride um high in the saddle without much guidance or supervision or control and the news people have to clean try to clean up the mess and it's a i think it's just a deeply dysfunctional and tragic situation over there